He's got the toys. He's got showmanship. And he's got sex appeal. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, from the great Southwest, here's the guru of gadgets, the dapper and dashing Don Bain, the Gadget Professor. Gadget Professor. Hey, hello everyone and welcome. My name is Don Bain and of course I am the Gadget Professor. We are coming to you live and absolutely in color from our Scottsdale, Arizona studio. Matter of fact, we're located directly across the street from the big Costco here in Scottsdale and sometimes that's a very cool convenience but sometimes it gets costly. But in any event, welcome everyone. We are on show 270. It is now September 29th, 2016. The time is just flying by. I don't know where it's going but it's, it's flying. So. You know, the Gadget Professor always says everybody's got to be somewhere, and I am glad that you are here. You can watch the Gadget Professor easy enough on our website, and that's thegadgetprofessor.com, www.thegadgetprofessor.com. And if you go to our webpage, you will find uh, the episode, a picture of what we're talking about, and uh, you can operate it from there. You can go on iTunes, you can go on YouTube. We're, we're everywhere there is a, uh, a browser of any size, shape, sort, or color. Also, uh, if you want to subscribe on iTunes or on the Android or on our RSS feed, all those options are available on our webpage. And certainly, you want to subscribe to the show notes, which is on the right-hand side. Scroll down, put your email address in. Every Thursday evening, you will get the show notes just by putting your email address in where the newsletter button is. And we don't share your email address with anybody. And every Thursday evening, as soon as the show is produced, you will get it automatically, the show notes, in your email box. Also, uh, we have our Facebook page. It's facebook.com forward slash the Gadget Professor. All kinds of crazy things there. Uh, check it out, and you could like me on that. And uh, certainly, last but not least, uh, you can email me 24 hours a day at thegadgetprofessor at gmail.com, thegadgetprofessor at gmail.com, and I answer all my email. In fact, next week, I'm going to take a couple of the emails that I've received over the last few weeks and read them to you. Some very interesting questions, and I've met some very interesting people. So for all you people who just listen to the audio feed, thank you so much for uh, tuning in. I really appreciate it, and I love hearing from you. I love it. Uh, here we have uh, our uh, Rebel Mouse page. It's Rebel Mouse forward slash Gadget Professor. I think you'll like this page. You, you can subscribe to this for free. It's all uh, detailed in the show notes. But what this does is it takes every gadget that comes out within the hour and it actually refers you back to the website. So I constantly re refer to this. And essentially, it's, it takes all my tweets. If you want to follow me on Twitter, it's at Gadget Professor. At Gadget Professor. All right, let's get right into it today. We have the... Uh, power supply that we'll take a look at on, on our camera too and this is produced by a company called Secure and uh, they make a great product a really nice product and a lot of different types of products but what you're looking at here is the ultimate solar charger the SP6000 now why I like this instantaneously is because it's 10,000 milliamps and if you remember uh, from our other prior gadget professor shows I do not like power supplies less than 10,000 milliamps. Don't like them. This particular model is 10,000 milliamps, which is a good thing. Now, if we take a close-up of this on camera two, you'll see that these two panels fold out, and what they do is they give you six, watch, six watts each. So that's going to give you a total of 12 watts, 10,000 milliamp. This is a high-efficiency 12-watt solar portable solar watt panel. And what's nice about this is it has two USB ports and there's a smart chip circuit in here, and we'll take a look at that, that will recognize what your device needs in terms of amperage and provide the fastest charging possible. They also provide you on the back here with a waterproof pouch that you can put some junk in if you want or your phone and uh, it will be protected from the elements. Now, this features two high solar panels for quick charging, and as I said, the built-in uh, battery uh, will charge an iPhone about five times. It has dual USB ports with a quick charging function. It's rugged, it's water resistant, certainly for outdoor use. And this is a very cool companion for you if you are an outdoors person. Now let's take an actual look at this. Uh, right here, I'm gonna move the box 
And as you can see, here's the two panels, and they fold out nicely and very conveniently. And the way this folds in is this is actually a magnet. These two grommets are actually magnetic. Uh, they have magnetic fields. So what happens is if you close this, uh, you close it this way, this actually kind of locks on and snaps, if you will, so it holds it in place. So this is what the device actually looks like. It's quite compact, and you're wondering what this is. Yeah, you can carry it like this if you want, but I don't think I would recommend that. What this really is for is it comes with a built-in stand, and although it looks kind of flimsy, it's really not. So what you're going to do is you're going to put this kickstand back to whatever angle you want, and when you open this up, uh, if you want to lay it back like so, you can do that. If you want to get the angle of the sun even flatter, certainly you can lay it flat, but this is the angle that they would prefer it to be at, but again, wherever the sun is in the horizon, you can actually adjust this to suit that angle and it just stays in place. So that's essentially how you're going to charge that. Pretty simple and it's pretty functional. And this also will fold down so it will actually uh, hold, there's a clamp here and this will actually hold the angle that you tilt this back out. Now the guts are actually inside the pouch and as I mentioned before this is waterproof so the way this works is you're going to unzip it and of course this would be charged before you went out inside you'll have a cable you'll want to supply your own cable particularly if you have any iPhone or, or Apple accessories because it comes with of course your, of course, your droid uh, wire so this is the actual uh, device here it connects inside internally to the two panels that are connected here and if you push this power button uh, you'll see some blue indicator lights you may be able to see that I don't know uh, but they light up and show you what percentage charge you have four dots so each one is 25 percent we're going to zoom in here and see if we could see that a little focusing here there we go so I'll push this again and uh, yeah you can see the lights lighting up there you go so uh, it's 75% charged. I haven't juiced this up lately, but on the side of this, and I don't know if I can get the right angle, but right here, there you go, you actually can see right here, there are two ports, two USB ports. They both put out 5 volts, 2.1 amps, so it really doesn't matter which one you use, and the light in the center will uh, appear when you're charging the device. So again, you can charge two devices at once. Uh, you're going to get your full 2.1 amps at 5 volts, and at 10,000 milliamps, you're going to get approximately five charges on your iPhone. If you are running low and you happen to be in the sun, uh, all you have to do is just uh, open this up real easily and put this back and uh, recharge. So that is uh, pretty much it. The other thing that they recommend you do is, uh, if you want, you can actually put the phone, uh, lay it down right inside here like so. Uh, connect your cord up, obviously from here to the phone, whatever type of phone or device it is you're charging, and uh, you can zip this up, and uh, it will be waterproof, and uh, you can charge on the go if you want. So it's a very convenient uh, build. My only criticism of this uh, is, and it's a typical criticism, and I don't know why the manufacturers of these types of power supply units don't do this, but I would have loved to have seen uh, a cord right here uh, for the uh, uh, lightning connector and maybe one on this side for your typical uh, mini droid connector and I hate when they don't put the cables in because if you forget it or lose it this thing is useless to you if the cords were embedded obviously that would take care of that problem and uh, I, I, I don't even mind paying a couple bucks more so that I know my cords are always there uh, I frequently will pull this out and use the cords somewhere else and forget to put it back so other than that, uh, I think it's well designed. It's certainly a good size, and uh, I'm loving the fact that this is a, a full 10,000 milliamps. So it's an excellent product. If you want to learn more about it, you can go to their website, which is secureproducts.com, and it's no E on that. It's S-E-C-U-R products.com, and uh, it sells for $125 on their site if you scout around. Uh, I haven't seen it on Amazon, but uh, this sells for about 200 bucks. Uh, at Best Buy. It's a brand new product. It's just coming out. Uh, it hasn't been out that long, but I really like it. It's definitely a little pricey. For 200 bucks. I would have loved to have seen uh, those power cords attached to it, but they're not. That said, it's a, it's a great device, and if you're in the outdoors, uh, particularly in Arizona where the sun is always shining, uh, this is a real handy device. So you can put this uh, 
on the windshield of your car and enough sun will get through to charge this thing, keep this always charged up. So I do like that. I do like the fact that it's waterproof. So uh, I hope you enjoyed that review. It's a nice product. Again, a little pricey, but if you're in the market for a 10,000 milliamp solar panel charger and there are not many of those around, this is a very good buy and it's very well made. Let's get into some free apps today because I know everybody's waiting for the free apps. So this one is free and it's useful. How about that? I always try to get useful apps for you guys because uh, you don't want to hear about the junk. This is called LibreVox and totally free. It's a free public domain site. Not only do you get books, audio books that you can listen to, but you also can uh, download these or burn CDs from this site. And all the books, it's very nice. Linovox uh, audio books are read by volunteers from all over the world. Perhaps you would like to join us and volunteer. How nice is that? If you know a foreign language, or if you uh, understand a foreign language, you can get books in all languages and sit back and listen to them. And, you know, for the people who are sight impaired or who are blind, this is an absolutely wonderful resource. And uh, I can't think of a better thing, well, I can think of a lot of things to do with your time, but this is really nice. And if you want to get some experience doing some narrating, and actually I know a lot of people that actually make a living or subsidize their, their, their income by uh, doing narrations, and this is a great way to break into that. So. This uh, website is uh, up, it's LibreVox.org, and you can check it out, and I think you'll really like what you see. Another site that uh, I've come across that I found very handy, and I hope they would update it, and this is by Macworld. This is the 26, there's 26 best iPhone tips and tricks and shortcuts that you did not know exist. What I like about this site is if you go to it, you can actually see the 26 items that are being discussed and you can just click on the ones that you like. They have best phone tips, uh, alphanumeric passcodes, custom messages, replies, remind me later, custom ringtones, custom vibrations, take photos while you're doing a video, all kinds of things that you probably didn't even know, you weren't even aware of, that the iPhone will do and your iPad. So you may want to check this out. It's a very quick uh, read or video if you want and it has a lot of useful information. So check those 26 tips out. Now here's a website that I think everybody at one point in, or another would want to use. This is called Account Killer, and Account Killer is exactly what it says. If you have a Skype account or a Yahoo account or a Twitter account or Facebook or Google, I don't care who it is, you actually can go onto this page and click delete this account and it will actually delete that account for you. If it can't, it will tell you where to go, and this is constantly updated. It will do a site check and take a, it will do a blacklist, sites that you don't want to be on. It will do a whitelist to allow sites that you do want to be on. This is a really nice page, and it's always up to date. They have Groupon on here, WhatsApp, MSN Messenger, Pinterest, Kick, Hot or Not. It goes on and on and on, and it's constantly being updated. And if you have a site that's not so popular, there's a search engine here. You can put in that particular site, and it will tell you if it's in this database, which I'm sure it is, how to kill your account. And there are many situations where you actually would want to kill your account. And this is highly recommended by Lifehacker, The New York Times, USA Today, and uh, a lot of other places, including NBC News. I have received, I don't know, maybe 10, 15 emails over the last six months from people that have not upgraded from Windows 7 to Windows 10. And there are a lot of those folks out there, and that's OK. But the question seems, and I don't know why, but everybody wants to know, how can I get the window? You can get the search window just like in Windows 10 by using this product called Launchy. So Launchy is a free cross-platform utility designed to help you forget about your start menu, the icons on your desk, and even your file manager. Launchy indexes the programs in your start menu and can launch your documents, project files, folders, and bookmarks with just a few keystrokes. So this will actually make a window just like we're seeing here appear and you just type in what it is that you want and it will automatically show you all the programs that contain that type of wording in there. It's very easy to use and it's very free. So if you want to upgrade your Windows operating system with a uh, find me key, go find a key, Launchy is the way to go. Here's a, a software, and there's a bunch of these out there, and I don't think there's a clear understanding with a lot of folks who are computer literate between uh, how you delete a file, 
uh, between deleting a file and uh, scrubbing a file or uh, a high level of delete. If you just hit delete uh, on a file, it will definitely delete the file. However, uh, there are a variety of free and paid for apps out there that will let you recover that file. Whether it be a spreadsheet, a Word document, or a photograph, there are hundreds of programs out there that are free and do a great job of recovering lost files. I usually mention one different program each month so we know they're available. The truth of the matter is if you just hit delete you're not really deleting the program from the uh, deep core memory inside of the computer. It's still there. It still has its tracks there if you will which is why these recovery programs can find them because they're still there. You may not think they're there but they're there. So many people require or would like to completely scrub the drive and get rid of it with a high level of security. Now there are a number of programs out there, just Google it and you'll see, that will scrub the disk and absolutely wipe it so that they can't be recovered. So why would someone want to do that? Well let's just say you have your your financial data in a spreadsheet or whatever, your checkbook, and you want to delete it for whatever reason. You're throwing the computer out, you're donating it, you're giving it to a friend. You don't want that data to be on there. Even though you erased the last backup, uh, they could recover that file if they know what they're doing. So that brings us to zero, and it's spelled with the number O, Z-E-R, the number O, is a user-friendly file deletion tool with high-level security. With zero, you're able to delete the files and prevent recovery by any third-party person or system. So far, no user reported an efficient method to recover a file deleted by zero. So if you want to get something off your machine, not just deleted, but off, so you can't recover it, this is the program that you want to use. It's a free download, by the way. Uh, if you want, you can donate some money to them, but if you don't want, you can try it out for three, four, five years, and then after that period of time, if you decide to donate, you can donate. Uh, it's user-friendly, and it's drag-and-drop. So you're going to take the file that you want and just drag it to the zero icon, release it, it's gone. Excellent, excellent program, and it works well. And a lot of these programs freeze when you go to dump the, pro uh, the, the actual file. This one does not. I've used it several times. It works excellent. Works excellent. It is a great program. Now, speaking of uninstall, a little different. If you want to uninstall a program, that means that you have a program that's been loaded onto your PC and you don't want to use it anymore. It's taking up space. You want to get rid of it. This is an excellent un uh, uninstaller. It's called IOBIT Uninstaller 6. It's free, uninstalled, unwanted programs and plugins promptly and thoroughly enjoy more secure and a cleaner PC without useless leftover files and extensions. Those leftover files and those extensions take up the space that's, so, that's supposed to be free on your hard drive. So when you undelete something, when you uninstall something, you want to get rid of it. You don't want any little traces sitting around in the registry. This will make sure that it's totally gone, it's totally clean. So if you're looking for an excellent free uninstaller program, IOBIT Uninstaller 6, check that out. And last but not least, folks, sometimes I just love some of the articles I read, and this is one of them. Global trade has been a thing for a long time, with items occasionally showing up in odd places. Odd places. For instance, these blue glass beads, try to say that a couple times, from Egypt showing up in the Bronze Age Denmark. Uh, now a cache of Roman coins has popped up in Japan, and they've never seen these types of coins, Roman coins, in Japan before. They're the first ever found. This is a fascinating article. It's put out by CNET. It just came out a couple minutes ago, and I think it's an excellent read. It's fascinating, and they have no idea they were doing it on an archaeological dig, and they found these Roman coins in Japan, and they're dating back to 3400 uh, AD. That is absolutely extraordinary. So there's a lot of things we don't know out there, whether it's technical stuff that's coming down the tubes or how these coins ever made it there. Fascinating read. I think you'll really enjoy that. And I hope that you enjoyed today's show. I will be back next Thursday. So long from The Gadget Professor.
The Gadget Professor is produced by Don Bain. Multimedia Communications, LLC. If you would like your product reviewed on The Gadget Professor or would like to appear on The Gadget Professor, contact us via email at thegadgetprofessor at gmail.com. The opinions expressed on the program by the host, guests, call-in listeners, or chatters are solely the opinions of the original source who expressed them. And thank you for watching The Gadget Professor. Gadget Professor.